The game in my previous video, which was the Roblox game made in 24 hours, was originally made in April 16, 2021. And from that time until now, April 23, I have officially completed 7 days of learning Roblox Studio. Over the course of the 7 days, I have created 4 fun little projects that I would like to share. The first project I created was heavily inspired by my life in elementary school. After I created the bad mini games game, I wanted to experiment with the one thing I like the most which is artificial intelligence. So I created a basic AI that gets the distance between the player and itself, and if the player is too close, it will simply flee the player in absolute fear. This was not difficult to make. It was mainly to help me get familiar with the environment within Roblox Studio. The second project I created was a zombie shooter. The way it works is zombies spawn in this box thingy, and with your pistol that can register headshots, you gotta kill the zombies that leave or else it will overrun the civilization of Roblox Studio 2020 default baseplate template Roblox 2020. And we don't want that. Roblox Studio 2020 default baseplate template Roblox 2020 is way too important of a world to lose to primitive AI zombies. This project was the first project I would make that would mess around with Roblox's built-in AI pathfinding system, which I find pretty cool. This was also the first project I would make that would use Roblox's raycasting. When comparing it to Unity, I still believe Unity is superior here. This third project is the one project I know will go above and beyond in the future. So if you want to see this develop, subscribe. The project I am talking about is a city building prototype. I was able to make this in under 3 hours and I can see the potential in this. I managed to make the building system flexible and expandable, and more importantly I figured out the UI scaling problem where UI wouldn't change on the window size. If this video gets more than 25 likes, I will continue developing this project and turn it into a fully fledged game. And finally, for the last project, I made this one you can play in the link in the description. It is a simple sorting game where you have to drag boxes to their appropriate receivers. This is the project where I created my first pickup system. It was a bit hard, but with just a little bit of thinking, I managed to do it. But for some reason it is very jittery. Not sure how to fix it, but the whole thing in general is quite good considering I picked up Roblox Studio for only a week. And those are the 4 projects I made during my 7 days of learning Roblox Studio. After using Unity for a long, long time, I am genuinely having fun again and making games, and it does not feel much like a chore anymore. If you want to see more from me, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.